Good morning. Seventh day, beautiful sunny day, but it's a it's a cold. Good morning. Well, it was pretty cold last night. This is my tent. I don't know if you can see, but there's absolutely there's still a good bit of frost on it. Even uh, the guy says they had the snug packs on last night, and uh, it was still pretty cold. I felt it, and uh, I probably won't drink as much next time if I'm in the tent because I had to get up in the middle of the night freezing and my bare blistered feet in order to relieve myself. But the good thing was there was an unaccountable amount of stars uh, later in the night with the moon and everything and it was absolutely beautiful scenery so that took my mind off it for the time. Just had some of that good Turkish coffee that the guy Adams made us. There's a few others joined us last night in the wild camp. It was pretty cold and I was wondering how it was going to go but I actually managed okay considering I kept on what I had on. My body temperature was fine. I wrapped myself right in the sleeping bag and the only little cold spots were, were on my legs. But I'll give you just a little view of what we're seeing this morning. See some people have joined us over on the other side of the bridge. Another little bangle banshee. But definitely great tents for what you pay for it. I think the only thing I'd like if I get another tent soon or another is a more higher one. That hubba hubba seems to have a good height in it that Derek's using. But I've got my on this tarp tent. It looks really good. I think you can only get them from America but if anyone knows different, then please let me know. The view is just amazing. So peaceful still. Anyway, I don't want to fall too far behind with the packing. I've got my sleeping bag up here just airing. Hopefully the bottom of it will get a little bit of the sun, as it's a lot wet with the condensation. Uh, nothing come through, it's just that my feet hit the bottom of the tent, so you'd expect, since it's contacting it all the time, that it'll get wet. Let's get packed and see what's happening. Hey dear folks, this is the area we've came from. We've walked a good couple of miles at least, and we're walking right along. This view is on our right. Guys are up ahead and best get going. I uh, absolutely brilliant night last night at the bridge camping, the well camping just at behind the Inveronan Hotel. And uh, it was really frosty as I already mentioned earlier in that, but the sun kinda dried up the bit of the condensation on the sleeping bag and not much left on the tent the time I packed it. I neglected to take care of my feet. Oh, here it comes, the feet. <laughs> nah, but they're fine. Just a little burning in one of them, as it was yesterday. The left foot's fine. I've kept the tape on, the compedes are well in place. No problem. Had a great night last night uh, in the pub. 
Like yesterday felt really barren, desolate land and on my own for the last couple of miles and you get the impression everyone was away home. But uh, we stayed a lot longer in the pub, Derek and I did anyway. And uh, I'm glad we did because we ended up meeting a lot of new people, more Germans, a couple of Spanish, a couple of Israelis. And one of them, Adam, shared his coffee with us. Turkish coffee bottle over in Israel. Absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, all's well. Packed up. We're heading uh, just a little small eight miles today to, uh, I think it's near the Glen Cove Ski Resort. There's a campsite. You guys are taking a few photos. So uh, I'll be good. We get a big one, we get one. If not, if the weather's like this, I'll be happy to pitch a tent again. Get more practice with it. And I'll leave you the now with this view. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, see you in a bit. Right, folks, we're about another good uh, hour and a half since I last spoke to you, maybe longer. This is the view I'm looking at now. See it all? Just feel the stillness now. Uh, a little bit of wind picking up, so I'm not going to stand for long. I think we're near the Glencoe Ski Centre where we'll be camping for tonight. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of sun in my right arm. I've got the, the buff on covering my head right enough in case that gets burned. I uh, feel my left ankle going on just a little bit. It's a very, very rocky path all the way. I think we must be near enough, we're going downhill a bit more now. So I'll see you when I get there. So let's see it one more time, beautiful. Hey too, folks, we couldn't get anything at the, key, uh, the ski centre, so we're down here a mile or two down the road at uh, King's House Hotel, I believe it is. Nice bit of river. Birds are tweeting about, just had one in my tent there. So I'm pitched up here for tonight. The guys are just a little up there, down from the camper van. I'm close at the hotel, which will help me in my flip flops. It's less boggy. But the neighbours seem to be checking me out here. This is right next to my tent. So uh, this should be fun. Yeah, I'm glad we stopped for a break. I've pitched up myself, doing it all, all's going well. So let me get something to eat. A little morale booster tonight. And I'll be as quacking like the ducks. All right, everybody. I'm enjoying Jura. I'm having a little Jura. Thank you. Well During the time. Right. Here. <laughs> well deserved after the hike we've done today. Yes. We've got a kid lock leaving tomorrow. Two guys. Cheers. Wish you were here. Plenty more camps to come, and we'll be doing this again next year. So watch out for the video. <laughs> nice and warm in here, just get a nice heat before we go right out there outside for a... Uh, we won't see much with the sun right enough though, but... And Mark's trying his socks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my much needed poor little feet. <coughs> that bad man. They're that no other, bad. they're not other, right? right. Well, stream washed. There's a bit of heat in here. It's on the back. The pipes are through here. Then yeah, we'll get heated furniture. Well, I'll tell you what, I can feel the heat up there, we'll get a bit of a nerve to drive. Aye. Look at that. Probably we never had the other guys here that wanted to go away earlier. We could have had a feast at the Hobbit's house on the dining table. Don't you be stealing my idea about the music I'm going to be using. Oh, I've got my music, don't you worry. <laughs> anyway, folks. We're having fun. See you later. <laughs> Aye. Catch you later. <laughs> Folks, the deers are back and they're round their tents. The bears stay away from my tent or Bambi's getting it. <laughs> I find it hard enough to sleep without them. They're getting rumbled. <laughs> I stay at this side, that's okay, I'm at the other side. 
There we go folks, we've basically just been told there was a beautiful sunset hitting the river and everything but we've obviously missed it and I've just got the end of it there. The deer are back, grazing away and uh, we're still in the pub but I just wanted to come out to see. This is us for tonight. Obviously it's the phone camera so when I move it up it looks brighter but it's actually probably a little darker than it is depending on how I move it and that's my tent over there for tonight. A few others about now. And the deer have moved up here. Just stay away from me. <laughs> it's a little chilly but I'm okay with my down jacket on. Yeah, so this will be maybe the last shot for tonight in terms of what you're seeing. It's been a good day. Me and Derek are getting a good wee chin wag and a blather and we drink, which helps. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head back in, so good night. I'll see you later. Well, good morning folks, the time is roughly quarter to seven in the morning and this is the view I've woke up to, the moon between the peaks there, beautiful. I just passed a couple of guys there, there are three of them anyway, they're, they've got an early start. Kenny and Derek are up bright and early, as per usual packing away so I best get back down to my wee tent there at the river and do the same. I had a good night again last night, slept a lot better, wasn't as cold, no frost, I'm in the shade and I was still kept warm so it was a good night and I think today's to be very very good in terms of the weather so that's good and I believe we might be in a B&B &B tonight at Kinloch Cleaving. Uh, they booked ahead and done it. Or it's a room in, at the bar or something. So we'll find out when we get there. Uh, but I don't want to be too far behind the guys, so I'm going to get on and get packed up quick. This is what I'm looking at as I walk down. Well, see you at breakfast or afterwards. Time to get this baby packed up again. Can't be bothered. <laughs> nah, I'm going. I've woke up in good spirits, so that's good. Good weather, good night, better sleeping. All is good. <laughs> 